Dr. Morielli, uh, let's jump right into this since you were the brains behind this beautiful facility here. Uh, first question I have to ask is why did you pick uh, Shelby Township, Northern Macomb County versus all the other areas that would love to have you? Well, first of all, let me thank you for calling me the brains. It's very complimentary. Uh, and thank you for complimenting our beautiful building. Uh, we chose Northern Macomb County, especially Shelby Township, for a variety of reasons. It, it was, uh, it's geographically very uh, advantageously uh, placed. It's, it's the growth area. It has a, a very nice population. And they were very willing and receptive uh, to our ideas. And we also found the perfect prime piece of real estate to accommodate our project. So it was, it was for a variety of reasons. The, the, the location, the township, the people, the community, uh, for many reasons it just turned out to be a uh, spectacular location for us. I live in Shelby Township and it is a great community, uh, raising my family here and uh, you know I'm an East Sider much like yourself. Uh, I'm from St. Clair Shores, you live in Gross Point and, and this is home for me now, you know, Shelby Township, we love it out here. Uh, there is a need uh, for this type of, well, th let's go one step further. Uh, this concept seems very unique to me. I mean, here, this is physician-owned, correct? Yes, I mean, it is. This okay. is, uh, as far as I know, one of the first of its kind. It's actually a medical, a physician-owned medical mall. And what does that mean? I, the mall we've talked to, let's talk to the people at home. The mall that. concept is similar to a mall in, in general. What happens is, you go to the, if you need something, you go to the mall and you know it's there. So the same thing now with healthcare, especially with today's schedules, uh, family demands, work demands. It's, it's nice to know that you can come to one place and take care of most of your medical needs. Somewhat like a hospital setting, but this is privately owned, uh, a little more intimate maybe, would you say? Yeah, well, it's, it's privately owned. It's an ambulatory care center, uh, so we don't do any outpatient surgeries. But uh, again, there is a comfort and the patients really enjoy when they can go to one place that is a little more friendly than a, uh, than a, a, a large institution. and. Um, there's a comfort level, their, their doctors are there, they know the staff, the nurses, and so there is a comfort level with them knowing they can all be taken care of there. One of my best friends is Dr. Ken Cerrone, an orthopedist who's, who's quite involved in this as well with you, and he, he showed a real interest in making it easier on the patient. I mean, there's a, you know, let's face it, in healthcare, you know, you get a, a report that you don't know, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of stress, and sometimes an already uh, a stressful situation, you know, the waiting times, and I know we talked yesterday uh, you're actually going to have an MRI unit. You're putting in a, a CT scan yourself, an Correct. MRI unit. Uh, what is the benefit of that, to have that right now versus, let's say, the current method where you well, have to send that out for that? When you have all the diagnostics in-house, number one is we have some control over quality issues. And the other issue is the timeliness. Whereas before, you would submit somebody to an outside institution and their labs would be done. They're, they would have to be done, dictated, dictated typed, out. typed, then mailed. So sometimes a patient that's waiting for a, a urgently waiting for a, or anxiously waiting for a test result, it may be up to two weeks. Whereas now, since it's all done in-house, a patient can go have an MRI, have a CAT scan, have a chest x-ray, and we can just go within five minutes, bring it to the radiologist right in-house, and a patient can have their answer within a few minutes after having the test done. Wow, I mean, and, and let's face it, in this day and age, um, you know, especially with, we, we have a, a patient uh, that's going to be on shortly and talk about her experiences, uh, you know, let's say where she has four appointments, has to go to four different locations. Uh, you may have four appointments here, but you can do it in, in one location. Well, that was one of the reasons uh, for doing the medical mall concept, and it's advantageous, very advantageous for a few reasons. Let's take, for example, a 58-year-old uh, man who sees a, his family, his internist, a cardiologist, and let's say a urologist. Uh, let's just face it, in, in physicians' offices, there's usually only one 8 a.m. appointment and one 545. For most people, an appointment's a half day off of work. So for a working person, whereas let's just say they were seeing three specialists, and that would be three half days off of work, now if they call ahead, they can coordinate their appointments, and they could see their family doctor at 8 a.m., so let's say the cardiologist at 10, a urologist or another specialist at 11.30, grab lunch in the cafe that we have, and back to work. So where they would have lost three half days off of work, they now lose just one half. And it gets even better where, in a case where a working person has to bring an elderly parent to the physician's office, because where it would have been three half days off of their work schedule to bring their parents, now they don't have to take any time off, because they could drop their parents off uh, to their first appointment before they're at work, 
the office, the, they could, and they could be brought from office to office for their appointments, and then they, the child can come by at lunchtime or dinner time whenever they, if they're morning or afternoon appointments, and uh, pick them up and bring them home. And they can even, again, all of them can have lunch in the cafe also. So in that situation, a working person wouldn't have to take any time off to bring an elderly uh, family member to the doctor's office. And of course, that scenario, they could also have a bad back and they would see Dr. Joe Femininio, who's in this facility, a physiatrist, or of course, a bad knee and they would see Ken Cervoni or one of the associate orthopedists. I mean, it's amazing. And what's nice about this too, if you had a 10 minute break, let's say, out of your busy schedule and you're an internist and you send someone